Hi everyone, welcome to my plant styling kind of haul um, video showing you what I did. Um, here is a five tier shelf that I got and next to it is a basket that I got as well. And so these are two different ways that I've been thinking about styling and kind of showing off my plants. If you saw the way that my plants are laid out currently, um, let's just say that they don't really stand out from one another and they're covering all of surfaces without organization or cohesion. So I'm trying to get that in hand. Um, I started out with the shelf by bringing my Monstera Deliciosa in from the patio. I had it outside and it's I think it's really too hot here. It, it really didn't enjoy it. This is still mostly a juvenile plant. It only has two leaves with fenestrations and I was hoping the heat would really help it to kind of kickstart its growing season and get it going, but that's not what happened. And so I brought it in and I thought, what would be better than putting my black cardinal philodendron next to it? It, you know, this philodendron's always in a good mood. It's always popping out new leaves these days. You'll notice that there's a theme with a lot of my pots. They're either white, gray, or terracotta. So that's, I guess, part of me thinking about my styling. This is my pink illusion syngonium. I've had this for a while now. It's doing pretty well. I love this plant. On the second shelf, I've got my pothos picta, or I think maybe a satin pothos as well. I'm not sure. I think it depends on how you think about the plant. Um, this is my clathia zebrina, and it is just really starting to mature. It was such a baby when I got it and now its leaves are starting to elongate. They're getting bigger. It's just growing taller and taller. And I'm really happy about that and also a little bit dismayed because what a cute baby plant. Um, here is my Pothos Enjoy and it was not as well rooted as I first thought when I got it. And so it still feels like it's almost adjusting to soil. It's doing okay. But again, growing in terracotta pots. On the third shelf, I've got my Snow White Waffle plant, and it's still in recovery mode from its time at the garden center. I found it in full sun, and so it still has some crispiness that you can see on its older leaves, but its new growth looks really good. It's very vibrant in a white pot. And then in this gray pot, I have a Berry Illusion Syngonium, and I have only had this plant probably for about a month. Um, it's getting used to my house. It had a little water stress when I got it, but otherwise it's been pretty healthy. And so it's, again, in a gray pot, like I said. Um, if I go down here to the fourth shelf, we have another gray pot, and this is my false aralia in front, the original, and then in the back, in this yellow container. Well, those are new aralia, and I'll probably do a, another video to explain what I'm doing with these both of these are all yet but look at the potting soil that I got on the wall I got it on some of the trim as well things I guess got a little bit wild um, while I was setting this up the fifth and final shelf does not have anything on it by the way I do need to find something to anchor uh, because the shelf is really top heavy right now so here is one of the baskets it's pink and cream and white kind of plastic binding around the basket Pretty colorful, I really like it. I put my fiddle leaf fig in here. Usually it's in the kitchen, but I brought it in because one, I do need to wipe its leaves down and I'll remember to do it with it being in here. And two, I was just kind of testing this basket out. Um, I can't leave it here, it will block this shelf. So otherwise, I kind of like how they look together. But anyway, this is my shelf. Um, I know it's not the most creative thing but I am trying, and if you have suggestions, please leave me a comment. What do you think would look good? I'm a little, little limited based on the height of plants, what I can put in the shelf, and for how long, but I'm really happy with it. It's a bamboo shelf. I got it on Amazon. Really easy to put together, um, very lightweight, and it fit into this very narrow space between my bathroom door and my closet door, and so I was really happy about that because, by the way, this is in my bedroom. If I haven't already mentioned that so uh, I wanted to definitely bring some plants in that had been in other rooms and I just wanted space 
And I wanted to be able to style, style them in a way where they kind of have their own space and they're not, again, disorganized and just sitting everywhere. These are the other two baskets that I got and they are cream on one, silver on the other, but then they both have these different hues of blue that are really beautiful. Um, they are different sizes and so the legs are the same height, but one looks taller because the basket's bigger and I got both of these thinking I could put a fiddle leaf fig in one and maybe a ficus benjamina in the other, but I'm not 100% sure. However, I really love these baskets. If I haven't mentioned, I got them at Home Goods. I think they're Nicole Miller Home, and they're very sturdy. I'm really pleased with them. When I've tested them out with my plants, they've been great. The legs feel really sturdy, which is important. And right now in my house, all of my plant stands are these like ones that you would get from a big box store like Lowe's or Home Depot. They're the black um, faux, it's not cast iron, but wrought iron. And you know, they all just kind of look the same. There's not a lot of color there. And my house is already really neutral heavy. So when I bring accessories in, I usually do like to bring in something that's a little bit more colorful. And so maybe I'll spray paint those other stands eventually and that might, that might actually do something. I also picked up some milk paint. This is the last thing that I got. I got this actually from Etsy though. And it's a bio-based product, which I really like. And you'll see people use these on terracotta pots, usually a really thinned out milk paint. So in here is a powder and you mix it with water. And you can do a really transparent wash on terracotta pretty easy with this paint. And you can also thicken the paint or do multiple layers and you can do an opaque coverage as well. But I do like the milk paint on new terracotta. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and so when I'm looking at this shelf now, I'm thinking about, I love the neutral colors that I see in the holders because I feel like it really allows the plants to stand out a little bit more, but at the same time for these other kind of the baskets, they're really going to have my trees in them. And I feel like my trees are all pretty, I might be biased, but I think they're all pretty striking. Their green is always amazing. So, uh, that's it for my plant style haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or suggestions, um, please make sure to leave them. And until next time, be well and take care.